Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about Tesla's TSLA stock. In this video, we will be analyzing three articles, to where the first one is titled, Barclays expects Tesla to report Q3 delivery miss. After that, we're going to move on to another article titled, Kathy Wood dumps 170,000 Tesla shares this week as TSLA falls harder than the S&P 500. So Kathy Wood, if you didn't know, is a major Tesla bull, meaning she is very positive in regards to her outlook on the future of Tesla's TSLA shares. And recently, her firm ARK Investment Management, also known as ARK Invest, sold around 170,000 shares. So we're going to be discussing why this is, where the future of these TSLA shares could actually go, and what investors should do with this information. Lastly, we'll round out the video talking about why Elon Musk's Tesla looks to illuminate India with Powerwall technology, which is greatly going to benefit not only Tesla as a company, but also India overall. So for more videos on Tesla, Elon Musk, Kathy Wood, ARK Invest, or other stocks just like this one, remember to go and annihilate that like button right now. Comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you are new. Don't forget to become a member of this channel for as little as 99 cents to support me personally, because that's what keeps me here on YouTube. And without further ado, let's jump right into today's stories. Tesla, if you didn't already know, is an electric vehicle manufacturer that specializes in both both electric vehicles as well as energy storage and energy generation. To where recently Barclays maintained an equal weight rating on Tesla's TSLA shares with a 12 month stock price target of $260. Now this is interesting because they are currently trading at around $250 with other analysts saying that the company could fall to around $241 or surge as high as $400 per share. But without getting too concerned with these stock price targets, let's talk about why these price targets actually hold some value to them. And we're going to look at the company's quarter three deliveries, which they are expected to report on October 3rd. So you have a limited time to act on this company before then. Analysts anticipate that Tesla will report Q3 deliveries of 455,000 units, which is going to fall short of their consensus forecast of 463,000 units, which was lower than their previous estimate of 483,000 units. So it's not good to see how these deliveries deliveries are falling because they started at an estimate of 483,000 then they fell down to around 463,000 and now the most recent estimate is 455,000. And when we compare this 455,000 units to their second quarter of 2023 where they brought in 466,000 units, this is not good because it means that this quarter is underperforming the deliveries of the prior quarter which does not give investors confidence. Barclays estimate for quarter 3 deliveries takes into account recent discussions regarding Tesla's overall production speeds, their insight into their expected delivery volume, and many other factors. You should also be aware that Tesla tweeted out on September 17th that they had produced their 5 millionth vehicle to where this milestone was achieved sometime between September 10th and September 17th to where this one source pinpointed the 5 millionth vehicle being produced on September 16th. And if we assume that accuracy, we can actually estimate how many vehicles Tesla has produced regarding their production rates from the recent quarter to achieve this milestone, which will give us a very good forecast of how many vehicles they produced in the third quarter or will produce in the third quarter of 2023, considering their overall production rate. And Barclays used this information to forecast Tesla's third quarter 2023 production, which is around 400 135,000 units. And although this may seem like bad news, don't worry, because in my opinion, if the TSLA share price falls because of these Q3 deliveries, I am going to be buying up more shares because right now I've been hesitant to buy Tesla stock because it's so high and their accounting ratios are absolutely outrageous. However, if the share price comes down a little bit, specifically due to these delivery misses, then I am actually going to buy this stock on weakness because they are such a fundamentally strong company, especially if we consider the future growth of this company considering robo-taxis, which we went into detail about in our previous video about Tesla and NEO stock. But now let's talk about Kathy Wood selling around 170,000 Tesla shares, which is very shocking to investors because Kathy Wood is a huge Tesla bull. 
Kathy Wood of ARK Investment Management recently sold around 62,367 shares of Tesla for around $16 million on Thursday. And we can calculate this based off of Tesla's closing price of $255.70 according to the company's daily trade disclosure. But for the entire week, Kathy Wood sold around 171,617 TSLA shares when we incorporate her trade throughout the entire week, and this is concerning to a lot of investors. However, we need to remember that Kathy Wood began selling Tesla stock after taking nearly a month off from touching her Tesla holdings at all. So it seems that Kathy Wood is just locking in profits on her Tesla stock since mid-June, and she is waiting for the share price to drop after these quarterly delivery numbers come in less than positive, which will give her a better buying opportunity. But you should be aware that since June 12th, the company, meaning ARK Invest and Kathy Wood, have sold over 1 million shares of Tesla. Now again, this does not mean that Kathy Wood is losing faith in Tesla. It does not mean that Kathy Wood does not think Tesla is a good company anymore. It does not mean that her price targets for Tesla, which we went into detail regarding last video, are somehow not going to happen. She is just practicing proper risk management by taking profits before she thinks that the company will dip in their overall share price due to the deliveries which we previously talked about because we need to remember the enthusiasm surrounding Tesla, because on September 11th, shares of Tesla actually surged by around 10.1% as a Morgan Stanley analyst increased his overall price prediction by 60% for Tesla's TSLA stock to reach that $400 price target which we talked about previously. And the majority of this momentum is due to Tesla's Dojo supercomputer efforts as well as their overall plan to implement and create robo-taxis. You should also be aware that Tesla's TSLA stock essentially held their 50-day line, giving it a $278.98 buy point, meaning that Tesla is still a good opportunity to buy right now, even though I personally am going to wait for the company to dip a little bit more before I decide to add more shares. Overall, I think a lot of analysts, stock reporters, and even YouTubers are taking this information out of context of Kathy Wood selling and Tesla's upcoming less than impressive quarter three delivery results. We also need to keep in mind that while this is happening, there is a United Auto Workers strike happening against companies like Ford, General Motors, and Stellantis, which is actually really good news for Tesla, because as these other major legacy automakers start to feel the heat from this strike, Tesla will be able to continuously grow their overall production and delivery numbers. So overall, again, Tesla is very fundamentally solid. I am very bullish on this company's long-term future, and although they have a lot of accounting ratios that are very high, which is why I'm waiting for the share price to dip a little bit more before I add more shares, this company has a phenomenal long-term growth trajectory. On top of that, we need to discuss why Elon Musk is further infiltrating the market over in India with their Powerwall technology, which is a phenomenal move in my opinion. Tesla, under the leadership of Elon Musk, who is the CEO, is expanding their innovation by trying to produce energy solutions to the market over in India, to where the focus is mainly going to be beyond electric vehicles, to where Tesla will try to enhance India's battery storage infrastructure, even though they are making a lot of headway in regards to their electric vehicle factory over in India, to where they will be able to produce an electric vehicle for around $27,000, which is very very bullish and positive. But let's focus on their overall battery storage infrastructure and their quote-unquote power wall. According to a Reuters report, Tesla's strategy includes introducing its power wall technology into the Indian market. This advanced system designed to store power generated from solar panels or the grid serves as a backup energy supply during nighttime or power outages. And specifically, these power outages happen very often over in India. Tesla is actually trying to build their own battery storage factory in India, even though this pursuit has been met with hesitation from various Indian officials. But in the end, both Tesla and the Indian government want to maintain a very good relationship because Tesla's overall initiatives will be very positive for India as a country. This not only will benefit Tesla as a company and of course their TSLA shares, but by Tesla infiltrating the broader strategy and market over in India by addressing the diverse needs of both India's residential and industrial sectors with cutting edge battery storage systems and electric vehicles, this is going to greatly benefit all parties involved. India currently is wrestling with peak time power shortages and even power outages. And since they are not as advanced as the United States, they are still heavily dependent on coal-based power. 
That's why Tesla is trying to electrify their overall grid and system so it can benefit their general economy and prevent these power outages during peak time hours. Therefore, Tesla's Powerwall, which is a sleek meter high unit, could be a very good solution for this scenario over in India. If Tesla can just adjust their overall pricing to meet market demands, it could unlock a very high demand sector over in India, along with very heavy government backing. And if you want to see on screen, this is what their Powerwall technology looks like. It's really not that large and it is pretty sleek. And since this is going to benefit India overall and prevent power outages, or at least give people access to power during a power outage, I think this is going to be phenomenal because the market over in India is huge and it's booming. So with that being said, overall, I am still very bullish and positive on Elon Musk as well as Tesla. I plan to invest more into this company once the share price falls. And I would love to hear what your thoughts and price targets are on Tesla's TSLA stock. So with that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe if you are new. Don't forget to become a member of this channel for as little as 99 cents to keep me here on YouTube. And with that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.